Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Been gone for a little bit. Just not really sure what to film lately because I haven't been doing a whole lot this summer since I didn't take any classes this term. I've just kind of been enjoying not having to do anything. So really enjoying my summer. Last week I was in California. I went camping for a week with my Aunt Jennifer and her family and my cousin Kara. And I got a little bit of footage. I didn't actually get as much as I wanted to just because I was doing other things. <laughs> and I didn't always want to bring my camera with me. It's like the first day we got there, we just kind of chilled. I think I did take some video. I took a little bit of video, just a little bit. And then the next day we went into caves and I didn't want to bring my camera in there because it was dark can't see we had flashlights so it's not like you could see anything in the caves anyways but they were really cool there were the lava beds in California and then um, we went to we drove a lot the next place we stopped was in Lassen Volcanic National Park which was really cool I did get quite a bit of footage there like not crazy amounts but sorry about my hair by the way I just look good. Yeah, it was really cool. We got to climb a volcano, which was really hot and it was really hard. It was like a four diamond hike, which that's like the hardest hike you can hike. <laughs> um, but that was really cool. And we stayed there for a couple of nights and we got to play in the water. There's a really nice lake right next to our camp spot and it was like super clear water. I got some really pretty photos the morning I woke up the first morning like super early like 7 and went and took pictures took a walk um, and you can also see these photos that I took on Instagram which you can follow me on Instagram I'll have my link down below and probably just on the screen cuz it's fun to do that and yeah not sure what I'm gonna do today but I thought I would add in my little California trip clips in th with this little vlog so then it's a lot longer and not super boring and like two seconds long <laughs> but yeah oh last night I went and saw Christopher Robin it's so good it's so cute I almost cried like five times I didn't cry that but it was definitely worth watching so good so good <laughs> Exploring the cave. Be safe. Oh, it feels so good down here already. Don't go past there. <laughs> what does it say? Be aware there are low ceilings ahead. Bring a flashlight, watch your step, blah blah blah. Okay. I guess we're going in the cave. Oh it is lit. What the heck? What do you mean bring a flashlight? It's lit. <laughs> We're going in the Oh, it feels really good in here. Hopefully you can see me. This is cool. We're wasting time because we're waiting for our group. Oh, it's scary. It's just like a Twilight net. zone. Look back towards the entrance. This is the last time you will see natural light in the cave. You have entered the twilight zone. Wow. Uh, That's freaky. <laughs> That's real freaky, Kayla. I'm scared. This is dark zone. Oh, wait, we're going into the dark zone. This is the twilight zone right now. Twilight zone. This is why I wanted to take my shit. The sun is really red right now. I don't think I can. I'm zoomed in all the way. I don't think you can see it. It's freaking red. 
are going hiking to go see a volcano. It was a trek to get up here, but we made it. And now we're gonna go hike up to this volcano and uh, I'll let you see one of those when we get there. It's really hot today and I did not bring a hat. I didn't even think about bringing a hat. We're at Butt Lake Trails. I know it's pronounced Boot Lake, but it's more fun to call it Butt Lake. And we're going to Cinder Cone. It's a Cinder Cone volcano. So 1.2 miles. Yes, honey. <sighs> so cool. Trees. Trees that fell down. Lava rock. That. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> Here's the volcano we're about to hike up. And as you can see, this path right, oh, let me see, right there, super steep. We're going to walk up that. I'm going to be dead by the end, but you can go up on the top and see inside, walk around inside the volcano. And So I got this cookbook yesterday and I really love Lisa Leek. She makes really amazing cookbooks, super easy, real food. And this one's her newest one on a budget. And I'm making her waffle recipe. And I'm super stoked. Mine isn't gonna look like this because I'm using a Mickey waffle. I'm using a Mickey waffle because that's the only iron I have, so you know, it's gonna look like Mickey, which I'm okay with. But I've been looking for my tripod all of like 10 minutes. <laughs> but I've been trying to look for my tripod because I wanted to do like a, a cook with me, whatever. So I guess not anymore because I can't freaking find it. I don't know where it is. I tore my room apart, looked in our storage. It was out here at one point. I know I used it, I just don't know exactly where it got put or where maybe I put it or where Riley put it so it's somewhere and I can't find it right now so I'm sad but I will show you the end result because it's going to be amazing I'm super excited and if you are on a budget and need a cookbook cook at home I seriously recommend this book I have used her other book it is let me just grab it real quick. Here's Penelope. Say hello. You can't see her because she's dark. She's chewing her sharky. The first book that I got of hers was the Fast and Fabulous one. And I've cooked so many meals from this book. And they turn out so delicious too. So definitely recommend getting her book. She has one more book. Her first book that I still need to get because I freaking love this book. I've already looked through all the recipes of her new book and I want to make basically everything in it because I'm on a budget and I just really like how she breaks every recipe down so like let me just get let me just show you so for the waffles she breaks down the shopping list how much it's gonna cost roughly about how much it's gonna cost and then how much each serving costs and then some things you should just have already and blah, blah, blah. I'm finished cooking. That took a really long time, a lot longer than I was expecting. Penelope was there the entire time watching me cook. And it looked really funny, but I like to put peanut butter on my waffles and then I have syrup. So why am I doing that with my mouth? That is weird. Okay, I normally don't make that sound with my mouth when I'm talking and I don't know why I'm doing it now but I'm really excited to eat this I had an ear <laughs> one of the ears and another one just I was really excited to taste it and it tastes pretty good um, definitely have had better but this one is not so sweet there's like no sugar in it so it's better for you um, which you know it's okay. I, I put sugar on. I put maple syrup, so 
it's still going to be delicious. And I have a whole bunch left over so I can give some to Riley and Kara if she wants any. But sorry, Popo, none for you. And now I'm, I'm going to enjoy this. And then I have a huge mess to clean up in the kitchen. So that's going to be fun. I got a pina colada. What'd you get, Annie? Tell my vlog what you got. A strawberry smoothie. Oh. But you're 21. <laughs> that, that's the flat twist. That's the tea. Okay, mom, what'd you get? Well, I got this really fancy drink, and oh, yeah. I don't know how to say the name, so I think it's Michelada. <laughs> Michelada? Michelada. <laughs> Brooklyn, what'd you get? Water. We got our food. I'm so excited. This looks so good. I love mole so much. My mom and sister both got street tacos what? and some guac and guacamole. What? You got a dolphin. I'm gonna love it. Let me see. You can't. I've never tried mole. Let me try it. Okay. Her street tacos. We're waiting for her quesadilla. Show him. Can I see? I want to see on, on the. Okay. Not in the I'm waiting. Oh, is it slime? Unicorn slime? Yeah. Cool. Mm. I'm going to eat this now. That's so cool. I Chewbacca sounds like. Whenever you hit me. Wow. Oh. just got back from Walmart. We're actually just waiting for my sister to get some stuff from her house. And I thought I'd uh, show you guys what I got at Walmart. I got some of the canvases. My sister wants me to paint her something, so I said I would. And they're really cheap at Walmart. You get two of them. What else did I get? My mom got me this shower foam dove. She says it's really good. And I I believe her, I guess. She's in the car. And then my sister said this was really good. Clorox. It smells so good, actually. It smells like coconuts. That's why there's coconuts there. But I'm excited to use that because it smells really good. What else did I get? And then I got some of these hair cords. I really like these. They're just like... They look like telephone cords, but I really like them for my hair. And then I got a little treat. They had these, which are seriously so delicious. They're raw vegan lemon cups. You wanna show me? Brooklyn's here too. What'd you get? I want to read I got. What did you get? I got a bathroom with toys in it. Look right here. Mm -hmm. Don't look at yourself. Look at this little dot right there. <laughs> uh huh. And a big. Yeah. What else did you get? I got a cool strawberry cake hat. Yeah, it's really cute. Yeah. Oh, right here. I don't know how to get it again. 
so cute. And you know, I got, I got a pretty dragonfly. And someone broke off his wings. You did. No, someone did at the store. You broke it in the car. Hey, Goof. All right, tell them good night. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <gasps> I forgot last thing. Oh, forgot one thing. It was... Look at some milk. You just started the video again. That. So don't can, forget. I don't forget to, my band aids. <laughs> They're super cool and like and subscribe. Bye, everybody. I'm trying to fix my hair right now, so it looks kind of crazy. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe so I can make more videos. And leave a comment. Whatever you want in the comments down below. There's my sister. Peace out.